Hello everybody and welcome back to Jazzy61. So today's video is going to be a part two to how to make your home smell amazing, you guys. You seem to really like this video, so I really want to do a part two of some of the tips and tricks that I use at home, as well as some that you guys have been recommending to me that I have tried. So let's go ahead and jump into this video. And I do apologize for the noise, you guys. I don't know what's going on at my neighbor's house right now, but there hasn't been any work happening around me lately. And the day I decided to sit down and film, they decide to work and I turn off a single machine. I don't know why the machine's just going. It's, it's my luck. So before we get started, I want to say hello. If you are new here, my name is Jazz. I do everything motherhood, lifestyle, a little bit of beauty every now and again when I can pull it off. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I would love it if you subscribe before you left today. I post on Mondays and Fridays. Right now I'm alternating and today's video is coming out on a Friday and I post at 4.30 p.m. Central Standard Time and I would just love it if you join the Jazz 6 One family by subscribing. And hello and welcome back to my returners and my new subscribers. I hope you all enjoyed this video and if you could, please follow me on my Instagram you guys I am building over there and I would love it if you join me over there as well I will leave that name that handle somewhere around here on the screen so let's go ahead and jump into these tips and tricks so the first thing I want to mention is I did not mention it the last time you guys that the best way to keep your house smelling fresh and amazing at all times is always keeping it clean I thought it was kind of a given but someone mentioned it in the comments and I was like I'll just mention it now but Always keep your house as clean as you can and make sure that you open windows and doors and let air flow through the house as well because it also takes away some of those smells. Now, I don't do that as much as I, as I used to because where I live now, I am surrounded by pastures and you guys, there's cow and horse smells that kind of linger sometimes. Um, but sometimes it's okay for me to do it here. It just kind of depends on which way the wind's blowing. So, yeah. Yeah, so make sure that you're cleaning things as well as letting air ventilate through your home. So my first tips have to do with essential oils, you guys. So I got some tips from you guys about essential oils that I tried and I also had some that I did myself. So the first thing that I used to do is, and I still do it from time to time, is I put essential oils in places where things have a really strong smell, like trash cans. So I showed you guys in my last video like this that you could put carpet fresh into your trash cans and it would help eliminate some of that smell. Well, essential oils do the same thing. All you need is a cotton ball, could put a couple drops or dabs of your favorite essential oils. Usually essential oils can be really strong depending on the smell of which one you use. I like lemongrass. That one really works well for me in trash cans. So I'll put some on some cotton balls and I will drop them into my trash cans. Not just in my kitchen, but also in the bathrooms, especially where I have my little boys and we have little poopy diapers now because we have an infant again, you guys. So drop some essential oils off into those trash cans and into those bins and it will waft that smell out every time you open those drawers or every time you open that trash can. The next way that I use essential oils was actually a tip from you guys and it turned out great. So I have a steam mop. I just bought a spin mop, but we'll get to that later on. But I have a steam mop that I use on a regular basis. With that steam mop, you guys, what you can do is actually drop some essential oils on the cloth pad that's on the bottom of the steam mop. And what happens is when you mop, that scent steams out with the hot water you guys it was so awesome steam mopping my floor when i tried that for the first time and my whole house smelled like lemongrass no joke it was amazing our floors dried and that lemongrass smell still lingered so essential oils also work if you have a steam mop the next thing that I like to do is use scented trash bags. So as I told you guys a minute ago, we have a infant in our home again, and we also have a small dog. So one way that we like to keep the smells down is we use little tiny scented trash bags. You can get a roll of about a hundred for like a dollar at Walmart. We use lavender and lemon, and you can put those diapers in there, tie them off, and that smell helps conceal the smell of the bad and the dirty diapers, you guys. I also put them in our bedrooms. So at night, when we're changing diapers we drop them into a trash can that is also scented and when I go to remove that bag that scent kind of covers up the smell of the pee pee diapers as well as the poop diapers and we also do this when we pick up our dog's poop because we do scoop you guys we're that we're that family because our son likes to play in the grass around our home we don't like to leave poops in our grass so we pick them up we also use 
the bags for that because my husband picks them up and there's a trash can outside. And to keep the smell of dog poop down, we use those scented trash bags, put them into that trash can and that smell stays concealed. So scented trash bags are also a great way to keep things smelling fresh. My next tip is baking soda. So baking soda can be used for a lot of different things. But one thing that we use baking soda for in our house is in our fridge. Now this is something my mom used to do when we were kids as well as my grandmother. They would put a box of baking soda, just open the box and set it into the fridge. So if something has a foul odor or goes bad in your fridge, that baking soda catches that scent and keeps your fridge smelling fresh. Now there is another way I like to use it, but I'll talk to you guys about that later on in the video. But the next way I like to use baking soda is you can make your own carpet fresh, you guys. Yes, you can make carpet fresh with baking soda and essential oils. So just take a little bit of baking soda and your favorite essential oils. You wanna mix that together and let it sit. And then you can sprinkle that into your carpets and into your rugs and vacuum it up. And it leaves the same scent as it would if you use your essential oils in a diffuser or like I said earlier, and you use it with your steam mop. So baking soda is also a great way to keep your home smelling fresh. So the next tip is also one that you guys gave me that I went ahead and gave a try. As I mentioned earlier to you guys, and as I showed you in a previous grocery haul video, I picked up a, a spin mop, almost said steam mop, <laughs> a spin mop. The reason why I got a spin mop and I already have a steam mop is for some reason, certain stains won't come off the floor. And I wanna try to use some products, see if I can get them up. And so far, I wanted to use some products. So far, it's worked really great for me. And it's adding scent booster beads this is a tip, adding scent booster beads to your mop water, especially when it's really hot. So in, in addition to the scent booster beads, because they do add an amazing scent, you wanna use some really good cleaning products as well. So when the water's good and hot, drop a couple scent booster beads in there and mop your floors with it. That scent also lingers. It just sits into the air. It sits on your floors, you guys, and it doesn't leave a residue behind, which is awesome because we don't like residue. We don't wanna be slipping and sliding <laughs> after we get done mopping. So those scent booster beads are great when you wanna drop something into your mop water that's gonna add a little bit of an extra freshness to your home. So at some point walking around my kitchen, I remember having this smell and I could not figure out for the life of me where that smell came from. You guys, it was my dishwasher disposal. When you're dropping things down into the sink and you don't clean that area out, you guys, it smells like rotted food. So I have a couple of ways that I clean this out. The first way that I clean it out is actually with baking soda again. So baking soda and lemon juice, and some people use a little bit of ice, make a really good mixture to clean it out. All you do is put a little baking soda down the garbage disposal, some lemon juice or some lemons, because you grind things up in a disposal anyways, but I like to use lemon juice, a little bit of ice maybe, and you turn your disposal on and let it run through with some warm water coming down over it as well. You guys, this cleans it out awesome you guys and i didn't know that for a long time but i saw this somewhere i forgot where it was but it worked out great for me in our house and it left a lemony scent in the sink the next thing that i used for my garbage disposal to clean it out are these things right here they're called a fresh now they have a line of products that are used to clean multiple things you're gonna see another couple of products from a fresh in this video as well you guys but you drop these down the disposal turn on the hot water and let it run it'll clean and then you'll see kind of foam stuff come up and then you'll rinse that foam away but this cleans it as well and the best way to get that um another odor out of there because sometimes that won't do it by itself is you want to turn the disposal off of course because we ain't putting our hand in our disposal um but you want to get a towel or a warm rag or something with some cleaning product on there and go around the rim of the garbage disposal or around your sink drain you'll notice there's a bunch of gunk in there guys i found so much gunk in my sink i didn't realize it was even there and once i got that cleaned out my sink and my kitchen area smelled amazing so another way I like to make my home smell awesome, you guys, and this one is something that is 100% natural, is you can do a boiling mixture, right? So all you have to do is put some water in a pot on the stove, cut up some lemons, put some cinnamon in there, maybe um, add some lavender in there or some oils and just let it boil. 
You can do apples, you can do oranges, and just let it boil, you guys. A lot of people do these scented pots around the holidays. You'll see cranberries and oranges and cinnamon sticks, and all you have to do is boil it and put it on low once it starts to boil, and that scent will continue to linger around your home as long as that pot is boiling on the stove, you guys. So that's a really quick and easy way to do something if you have leftover fruits or things that's about to go bad in your fridge, and just drop them into a pot together and let them boil. You can also do this with like Fabuloso or Pine Saw with a little bit of water and let that boil now when i do those types of mixtures with the fabuloso and pine saw i do use an old pot i don't use one of my pots that i like to cook it on a consistent basis i use one of those old pots that i don't use often at all or one that i may be about to get rid of and i just let that boil for a little while and that smell lingers around your home you guys and makes it smell amazing the next way that I like to keep my home smelling fresh, you guys, is mixing up the scents of the things that I use in my home. So, for instance, I like to use Mrs. Meyer's cleaners, correct? So, all right, why well, I say correct like y'all know. I like to use Mrs. Meyer's cleaners, right? So this is the rose scent and this is apple cider. I've been really liking this apple cider as it's been getting cooler here, you guys. It has been a cool 40 degrees where I live at. <laughs> so I've been really liking to use the Mrs. Meyer scents. I also use Method Cleaner, you guys. So change up the scents of the products that you like to use around your home. And that way you can always have a different smell when you walk through the door. And once you find one that you really like, you can stick with that one and that smell will always greet you when you come home. So my next tip is using different scent booster beads when it comes to different things and different fabrics in your homes. So I like to do a different scent for things like my dog beds, for our rugs in our bathroom, for the rugs in the kitchen, and then a different one for our clothes. So the two scents I like to use in my home are April Fresh as well as Cool Cotton. So these two kind of add different scents around our home, even when we're really not trying to, because these linger in the air, they linger on your clothes, they linger on your fabrics for a week or so. So I use the April Fresh scent on our clothes and I use the downy cool cotton <laughs> on our dog beds and on our other fabricy surfaces that can be washed. So have you ever walked into your laundry room and there was a musty odor? Mm -hmm. I know where that's coming from. It could be your washing machine. So I've been cleaning my washing machine out with using some of these uh, fresh washing pods. All you do is drop one of these into your washing machine with nothing else in there, turning on to a hot setting and let that wash through or let it cycle through, excuse me. And these things work amazing. The next thing that I like to do when it comes to my washing machine is actually take some cleaning product, a warm bucket of water and a cloth and physically wash out my washing machine. I know you guys see people on here doing the ASMR videos where they actually wash and scrub out their machine. Well, that actually serves a purpose, especially getting under the rim of the washing machine, the washing machine the same way you would do with the dishwasher disposal because things get caught in there. There's gunk, there's all kinds of things that build up and that can cause that funny smell that you get of mildew and old water in your washing machine. So I like to use these fresh pods as well as physically washing out my washing machine. So the last thing that I like to use these fresh products for is my dishwasher. Now you want to put one of these pods into the dishwasher tray if you have a lot of buildup and then you want to also drop one into the bottom of the dishwasher which I do with my dishwasher pods anyway. Now you can do this with or without dishes in the dishwasher. Now they recommend that you actually do it with dishes in there but sometimes I like to do it without the dishes in there. But all you have to do is put this in there and let it run through the same way you would do with any other time of cycling through your dishwasher and it cleans the dishwasher out which is really important because your dishwasher can also have built up grime dirt and all the smells that linger behind from that so i like to use the fresh products for that as well and no guys this video was not sponsored by them or anything like that it's just a product that i found that worked really well for me so i continue to use it so my next tip you guys is frequently wiping down your surfaces so i like to use lysol disinfectant wipes for that especially as cold and flu season rolls around and people's hands and things are touching on stuff and all that jazz i like to wipe down all of my surfaces consistently i wipe down my son's little tables i wipe down my dining room tables my countertops the doorknobs the fridge the stove everything that i can wipe down i wipe down consistently and that's like multiple times a day anytime i see anything on my countertops anytime we eat something i wipe things down so those smells and those scents and those odors do not linger around my home you can do this with your favorite um method cleaner or your 
um, anything that you like to use to clean with, you can do that as well. But frequently wiping down your surfaces always leaves a great scent in the air and make sure there are no lingering odors or smells. So my next tip is one that you guys actually gave me and that has to do with dryer sheets. Now in my last video, I mentioned that I dropped these things off into couches sometimes, into dresser drawers, under mattresses, things like that. But you can actually add these things to your vents as well. If you put them in the vents or anywhere close to a vent, you guys, that smell gets out of there. Make sure you put it in a space where you can pull it back out of there and then it don't get stuck off in there somewhere. You can also add them to your air filter. If you have an air filter like we do in our house, you can put one near your air filter and it will air filter air filter <laughs> and it will let that scent linger out into your home or waft out into your home now a tip that's not for your house i also put these in my car because i have two little ones he drops my toddler drops food everywhere you guys and i mean everywhere and sometimes it's just nice to have these pushed down into the pouches at the back of your seats or into the cracks of your seats and it leaves that scent lingering as well so these are good for multiple things including leaving a great scent in your home this next tip is one that we have adapted as, or adopted, excuse me, as we have been dealing with cold and flu season and as the pandemic was going on. And that is taking off outside clothes and shoes before you go through the house. You ever go outside and you have that outside smell on your body? It just smell like outdoors. Mm -hmm. So we leave those at the door. <laughs> so when we come into our house, there is this cubby hole type of thing. It's called a, um, a tree tower or something like that um, that I bought off Amazon. I'll link it down below if you guys are interested in it. But, and I will leave all of these products if I can linked in the description box below before I forget to say that. But at the door, my son, especially when he comes home from school and he's been playing and he has paint and everything else all over his clothes, you have a hamper at the door for him. And he comes in and he takes off his shoes, takes off his outside clothes and he leaves his jacket right over there in that tree tower, you guys. Or in, I can't think of what it's called. Is it a tree tower? I'm gonna put the name of it. Mm -hmm. But he leaves all that stuff at the door so it doesn't get into our home, it doesn't linger anywhere. The outside smell doesn't come past the entry point of our home. So that's also a good way to keep your home smelling fresh. So now let's get to this bathroom again, you guys, because boy, that bathroom can be a doozy, can't it? Mm -hmm. So one thing that I like to do is leave some scent booster beads somewhere hidden in the bathroom. As well as you can do this with, uh, or you can do this as well, there it is, with Pine Sol or Fabuloso, one of those really strong smelling cleaning products. And all you're gonna do is leave a little cup of them somewhere. In my bathroom, we actually have a shelf over our toilet because we have a water closet. And at the top of that shelf is a gap. And in that gap is where I leave a little bitty cup of something. Now you always have this smell somewhere and you don't know where is that smell coming from? I'm not gonna tell, well, I'm telling you now. But you wanna put a little cup of scent booster beads or that cleaning product up there. And that smell just kind of hangs out wherever your toilet is. If you don't have a shelf like that, or you don't have something like that, you can hide it right behind the toilet bowl or um, right behind the back of the toilet, you guys. And that smell does the same thing as it would do hitting up there at the top. And if you're like me and you have like little pieces of decor in your bathroom, for instance, like a little basket of some sort, you can do one of those little mesh baggies, put some of those scent booster beads in there and tuck it underneath one of those little baskets in there. And that way that scent is there and it's also still hidden. Another way that we have kept our toilet smelling fresh in the past is you ever see people put like a little hole into the bottom of Fabuloso or Pine Sol and sit it down into the toilet tank in the back. And every time you flush, that smell kind of wafts out. Now I haven't been doing that one as much as I just kind of go in and scrub all the time so I don't, I don't need to do that. But if, if you're a person who doesn't have to clean the toilet bowl as often, or if you have a guest bathroom that you don't use as much, which we do have, you can do that instead. And every now and then just go in there and flush the toilet. It also helps to keep the toilet bowl clean. So that's also a great way to keep your bathroom and your toilet smelling fresh. The next toilet tip that I have you guys is frequently cleaning the floors around your toilet. Like I said, I have a house full of boys. I am the only female in my home and there's always a splatter, especially as we've been potty training the toddler. Yes. So there's always a splatter somewhere. So you wanna make sure that you're frequently cleaning and mopping around your toilet bowl, as well as wiping the outside of the toilet bowl. You guys, and the, the tank itself, 
because the splatter gets there. And if the splatter gets there, then you're gonna have that smell hanging out in the bathroom. So you wanna take your favorite cleaning products and just scrub around your toilet bowl on the floor. You wanna wipe the outside of your toilet bowl as well as the toilet lid, the bowl lid, as well as that tank. That keeps the bathroom smelling fresh and it keeps those odors down. And finally, you guys, this is one that I mentioned to you earlier, but I want to reiterate when it comes to your bathroom, especially if you have a trash can near your toilet bowl, is putting some sort of a scent into the trash can. Now, in the trash cans in the bathrooms, I like to do a scent in the trash can as well as a scented trash bag. So one thing that you can do, like I said before, is essential oils on a piece of a cotton ball or something like that. You can also use a little bit of pine saw because pine saw has a really strong, and I mean strong scent that lingers. You can do a little cotton ball of pine saw. And then you also want to put one of those scented trash bags in there to keep the odors down. Now, the reason why I say use a cotton ball or something like that, that way you can throw it in the trash once you're done with it. And then you can do another one maybe a week or so after you've done that. And this is a great way to keep the smells down around your toilet. Okay, you guys, so that's all I have for you today. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think of it in the comment section down below. If you have not already, I would love it if you like, comment, share it, and subscribe and join the Jazz 61 family where I do everything motherhood, lifestyle, and a little bit of beauty. And I post on Mondays and Fridays at 4 p.m. Right now, I am altering, altering, altering i am alternating between mondays and fridays at 4 30 p.m central standard time and i would just really love it if you join the jazzy 61 family today and thank you again to all my returning and new subscribers you guys are the absolute greatest i really and truly appreciate all of your support if you could please follow me over on instagram i will leave that handle up here on the screen for you guys thank you all again so much for watching this video and i hope to see you next time bye guys